A major weather pattern change will be coming to the United States over the next few days, which will bring even more significant severe weather, including damaging winds, very large hail, and tornadoes. Additionally, a major heat wave is about to strike the United States with hazardous temperatures expected, with feel-like temperatures as high as 115 degrees as far north as Minnesota. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next several days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today and we are getting over a big severe weather outbreak yesterday that happened from the Great Lakes back into the lower Mississippi River Valley where we had a ton of severe weather from a mesoscale convective vortex. A significant line of storms went across the Ohio Valley and we ended up having over 20 different tornadoes across parts of Illinois, Indiana, and even back into Ohio. Now, as we go throughout the later part of today, we are going to see even more severe weather from this storm system up and down the East Coast with all hazards of severe weather on the table. There's even a low chance of a live stream later today, so definitely make sure you're subscribe to the channel back over in the Great Plains and anywhere west of the Great Plains. There is hardly a cloud in the sky this morning. It is actually beautiful. This is only going to last, though, throughout the next couple of days. And then we are expecting the return of some severe weather as we go into the weekend and early next week. And look at this little thing down here near Mexico. That right there is Category 4 Hurricane Eric as of earlier this morning. It actually got to Category 4 intensity and is now making landfall in Mexico as a powerful hurricane. As we just talked about a moment ago, yesterday was a crazy day of severe weather. We had over 400 different wind reports across the Ohio Valley, and on top of that, at least 16 different tornadoes have been reported from yesterday. I honestly think we at least had 20 different tornadoes yesterday. We'll see how many the National Weather Service surveys and how many actually end up getting confirmed. But for right now, we at least had 16 tornadoes. There were probably more than that, though, here across the Ohio Valley and the Midwest, but a lot of them were on the brief and weak side of things. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential over the next few days, and we'll begin with today, which is Thursday, and we have an enhanced risk of severe severe weather in place back along the East Coast, including areas from New Jersey back into Eastern Virginia. Slight risk goes from New England back into North Carolina and marginal threat goes all the way back into the Dixie Alley. And we have another slight and marginal threat of severe weather all the way across the Northern Plains and the upper Midwest. The biggest concern for today will be damaging winds, which is why we have a level three out of five enhanced risk of severe weather today. Large hail is a possibility. The greatest concern, though, will be across the Northern Plains. And there's also a chance for a couple of tornadoes. The main concern will be across New England and back over towards the mid-Atlantic region. I personally think if we have tornadoes today, they will likely fall into this region. So in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, parts of Virginia, and also back through Delaware. So make sure that you're staying weather aware, have multiple ways to receive warnings, and there is a chance of a live stream later today. So make sure that you're stay tuned to the channel. And as we go into Friday, the risk of severe weather will shift back off to the west towards the northern plains in the Midwest, where we have a level two out of five slight risk of severe weather for most of the upper Midwest and also the northern plains, where all have hazards of severe weather will be on the table and honestly Friday could be a substantial day of severe weather but it will depend a lot on how storms evolve as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Right now the biggest concern is damaging winds which could easily be significant maybe even upwards of 80 to 90 mile per hour winds being a possibility. Two different things could happen one of which could be a mesoscale convective system which brings widespread potential for damaging winds. Another thing that could happen is that we get a bunch of discrete supercells that produce the threat of big tornadoes and also very large hail. So this is definitely something that we need to keep a very close eye on. Large hail is also a big possibility in North Dakota and Northern Minnesota. A few tornadoes are possible. I emphasize possible because we may or may not see tornadoes on Friday. It's going to really depend on storm mode and exactly when these storms do fire up. But keep in mind that Friday could be a big day of severe weather depending on how things evolve. We'll talk more about why here in just a moment. And then on Saturday, the threat of severe weather will continue to stay across the Northern Plains back into the Northeast where isolated severe weather will be a possibility across the board. And then by Sunday and Monday, our threat of severe weather should start to shift back down to the south a little bit to include parts of Texas all the way back through the Midwest as well, where all hazards of severe weather will be a possibility most likely on Sunday and Monday. Now let's go day by day with the timing of severe weather beginning with today, which we're going to have some scattered showers and thunderstorms across the northeast throughout the afternoon. These are going to be pretty widely scattered across the board. Damaging winds is going to be the biggest concern. Notice by around four o'clock, we got more than likely a significant line of storms rolling right into Maryland, also into Delaware. This is an area that I do think the tornado threat will also be slightly more elevated this afternoon if storms can stay a bit more discreet. By around 5 to 6 o'clock, those storms are approaching New York City, going through New Jersey, with damaging winds continuing to be a possibility, and then everything's pretty widely scattered for the most part across New England and also New York, where most storms will just be hail and wind producers, but a low tornado risk should exist. And then by around sunset, most of these storms are going to fall apart. And then back over the mid-Atlantic region, a little bit further down to the south, pretty much the same story. Again, Maryland dealing with the storms right around the mid to late afternoon, and a few pop-up storms 
elsewhere in Virginia and North Carolina where damaging winds hail and a low tornado risk will exist. And honestly, Friday looks beautiful. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of severe weather or even storm activity in general across the East Coast. Now, as we go into Friday, the risk of severe weather could be substantial across parts of the Northern Plains in the Midwest. And this is one thing that I want to point out is that our significant tornado parameter values could literally be maxed out on Friday across many areas in the Northern Plains and the Midwest. And this is mainly going to be across Minnesota, North Dakota, and South Dakota. Now, this is obviously only going to be used if we actually had storms in this environment, which right now we are not sure when storms are going to fire off on Friday, whether they're pushed back towards the very late evening or overnight hours or during the mid to late afternoon will play a critical role depending on what we'll actually see here. But there is a ton of wind shear. We're going to have a very strong low level jet as well. So if we were to see discrete supercells at any time during the mid to late afternoon or early evening, we could see a substantial risk of severe weather evolve here across parts of the Midwest and also the Northern Plains. Now, I do think in general, though, no matter what happens on Friday, we are going to see some level of significant severe weather. It's really just going to depend on when storms actually fire here across the Northern Plains. So let's talk about the timing of severe weather here in the Northern Plains in the Midwest, beginning with today. We're going to have a few isolated severe storms, I think, very late tonight into the overnight hours across Minnesota. Biggest concern with these storms will be very large hail, possibly some damaging winds as well after midnight tonight. They will turn into a cluster as we go into the early morning on Friday. That should move towards areas like Chicago and perhaps even into southern Wisconsin, where the biggest concern will just be damaging winds. As we go into late tomorrow evening is when I think storms are going to fire off. If we have anything earlier than that, it could be kind of crazy, but I think most storms are going to wait until after sunset to fire across the northern plains in the Midwest. Right now, the HRRR is showing storms firing right around 9 to 10 o'clock here across central and northern Minnesota and also eastern North Dakota. And notice how they quickly turn into supercells by around 11 and 12 o'clock. And we may have multiple supercells that are ongoing across the board. Now, I think that the biggest concern with these will still be very large hail and damaging winds. But if any storm can actually get into that environment where we have a lot of wind shear and a very strong low level jet, we could easily see the potential for strong or even long track tornadoes. So this is something we need to keep a very, very close eye on here tomorrow night, as we could see a very significant threat of severe weather evolve. And if that does end up happening, we will likely be live on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed down below. And then beyond Friday of this week, we are expecting severe weather to continue into Saturday, but most of the severe weather on Saturday will just be isolated across the northern plains back into the northeast. On Sunday, our low pressure system that's sitting over the Rockies will start to move a little bit further down here to the south and east, which should spawn some severe weather here across the high plains, also back up into the central plains on Sunday. Overall, I'm just expecting isolated to scattered severe storms. Nothing really too organized right now, I'm thinking for Sunday. By Monday, more scattered severe weather will be a possibility from the Midwest back into the high plains where damaging winds hail and a low tornado risk will exist. And then by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, where I think we're going to start to quiet down just a little bit with at least significant severe weather in the central and southern plains, likely going to get another round of severe weather at some point during the middle to end of next week across parts of the Midwest. We could see all hazards of severe weather with that. And then by next weekend, which is very far from now, I do not see anything really in the near term that is indicating any sort of major severe weather outbreak. So really overall, the next few days look like they're going to be the most significant for severe weather. And by the middle and end of next week, that's where uncertainty grows quite a bit. But I do think the weather pattern is going to get at least somewhat quieter at the end of June. And lastly, we are expecting a record breaking weather pattern to take place here across the Great Plains, Midwest and the Ohio Valley as we go into this weekend as a ton of warm air is going to be building off to the east of our trough. A ridge is over in the in the southeast and this is going to help to pull a lot of warm and also moist air out of the Gulf and this is going to lead to a very warm stretch of weather this weekend for many areas in the Midwest also back into the Ohio Valley. Hazardous temperatures are going to be a possibility across parts of the Midwest. These are some of the forecasted high temperatures for Friday and notice areas like Nebraska, South Dakota and even back into Kansas could be in the low 100s. Might even have some upper 80s back in over into Minnesota but that's not the worst of it. As we go into Saturday and Sunday these are some of the high temperatures that we could see. This is specifically for Sunday and notice how temperatures could easily get into the mid to upper 90s and low 100s across the Midwest. So be ready for a very very warm stretch of weather. These will definitely break records here across many areas in the Midwest. These are also the feel like temperatures which are the heat indices that we could see across the Midwest on Saturday. If you have any respiratory issues, you might want to be inside for most of the day as it is going to be very hot. And this is some of the warmest weather that we've seen in quite some time across many of these areas. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll likely have another video tomorrow talking about all the severe weather that is upcoming into the weekend and early next week. So make sure to click the bell icon down below so you're notified with the latest updates. And once again, there's a low chance of a stream both today and tomorrow. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys all again in the next forecast or live stream.